Hello, 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 hello. I have hearts and flowers and cross on my mind. And I'm trying to decide where, how, <laughs> what I want to do. So we'll, we'll see what ends up here. That's not exactly the design I wanted. This is what happens is I, I really wanted a bigger heart. So we're just going to make a bigger heart and go with, go with what I'm thinking. Um, so welcome. If you've not watched, <laughs> if you've not watched my, my, um, painting before, I'm Lynn Browder. And I have a son, Owen, who is 11 and has autism. And I paint with him. He helps me paint the backgrounds. And then I um, paint the rest. <laughs> and I paint a lot of flowers and a lot of animals or crosses and wings and things, things like that. So um, I'm, I had in my mind that I was going to do this heart kind of shaped um, with flowers. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll put a cross on here somehow, some way. So we'll, we'll see what happens as I go along. Um, you can see I'm already plotting and planning um, how it, it's changed. Uh, automatically already. So this is what happens. I'm constantly kind of going through and what I think I'm going to do ends up not what I'm going to do. And the gray outline was truly it, that with what I had kind of in mind. Um, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> That's always my answer is we shall see. Because I really don't plot and plan enough with this. I don't. <laughs> um, and my paints are, um, the, the weather plays such havoc on my paints with, you know, the humidity and, and everything. And so they're kind of, um, kind of full right now or thicker than normal. Um, and you see, I've been using one brush this entire time. So that's kind of what I do is I just use one brush and however it ends up, it ends up. Occasionally, when I want specific colors or goals, like there's white involved or um, black, sometimes the, the colors, I don't want them to, um, I don't want to, you know, put one or the other on something then. Um, but if I'm doing flowers, you will see a lot of the same brush. Same brush. And, uh, just kind of go with the flow. And I keep, like I said, thinking I'm going to put a cross on this, but one never knows what one never knows. <laughs> oh my. So today we had a pretty good day with Owen. He, um, some days are a little harder than other days, um, for him. Um, and today, Saturdays are generally his day that he gets to spend with his grandma. And so, um, that is what he got to do. And he was so excited about spending time with grandma that he was up at oh about four give or take um 
I started hearing him laughing and um it's one of those things that like if he's sitting quietly and he is just doing his tablet and um then that makes me very happy at four o'clock in the morning because he repeats a lot of his words and behaviors and different things and I have a hard time figuring out like how to help him like move forward on something we've tried many different techniques over the years with different therapists and different advisors and doctors and so one of these days years months five times I'll figure I'll I'll run across somebody that can shed some light on how he works. Oh, that's a lot of gray. <laughs> um which is okay, but we will we'll put some more pink on there. Um but somebody will will be able to to shed a little more light on how his brain um processes it. And and we'll we'll get there. Um, because I know we get stuck on something and I know, um, you know, it's just hard for him to kind of move forward or, or figure it out, you know? And so I want to do whatever I can do to, to help him. And I don't always have the right answers and I don't always, um, know how to handle something. I wasn't, you know, a certified autism parent before I was an autism parent. And so just have to kind of learn and grow and try to work it out and figure it out to help my baby. So that is what I do. And so um, now I'm trying to figure out if I just want to leave it like this or if I want to... <gasps> <laughs> I have to laugh. Um, if you've watched any of my, um, <laughs> any of my videos before, I talk about that a lot because that's what happens. I think I'm going to do something and then because of the way I put way too much paint, way too much paint on my paintbrush, um, that happens. That happens way more than I'd like to even <laughs> even think about. Um, but we just go with the flow. And like I said, I'm trying to figure out if I want to... Um... Alexa, stop. I keep forgetting that she has an alarm. And <laughs> every night she goes off about this time. Because I write... Um, about our journey all the time. And I just want to make sure that I post it. Um, and so I kind of put that on there. So I'll remember to do that. So you see, I have a dot down here and then my heart has now turned to kind of a, maybe a real heart. I don't know something. It's a little lopsided ish, which is okay. Um, not that it was not sort of lopsided-ish sides. <laughs> That's the technical words there. Um, but now I've got this down here. I've got um, to decide if I want to still add a cross. If I've added too much green and I need more pink. Or if I just want to leave it like it is. These are the the moments that just you never know what you're gonna continue to need build do design think about and see I'm I've got more and it's fine because we can just you know sometimes I use um this like style brush or even like one of my thicker ones like to to put paint on it or to squish paint like, sometimes I would just <laughs> take that. I better be careful because um, that has happened <laughs> way too many times as well. And we just go with the flow. But see, I'll probably dot some other stuff around here.
but I'm trying to decide if I want to like like reflect across ac across the heart or on the board or down here. My original thought was to put across like right through as I was doing this. Um, but you see what happened. I kind of got a little sidetracked and that's easily done with me. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to decide if I just want to go through it and shoop, shoop, that's again the, you know, or if I just want to forget about the cross and put all kinds of mushy gushy stuff on here and then rethink the cross and do the cross and a heart another day. That happens a lot too. <clears throat> and I have a frog in my throat, which... Last night I had sneezes that I couldn't, and I sneezed all day today, so I completely made up for the lack of being able to sneeze last night. And now tonight I have a um, frog in my throat. <laughs> but I can't decide, so I'm going to sit here for a minute and stare at this. While I'm staring is, um, I make paint blobs. I spread this out a little bit. Um, here, I'll show you the... But those are my colors. And I keep thinking I say wax paper, but this is parchment paper. And then it peels up um, from there. And I make blobs, paint blobs. That's a paint blob. And this is one of the first couple I made. Um, so I used a, a way too much um, glue on them. But I take the paint, dried paint, and I make paint blobs. Some are... Those were magnets, some are jewelry of different things and, and such. So so now that I've sat here long enough trying to decide, I'm now still trying to decide. Um, I just imagined like the whole cross and, you know, like just holding it bare. Um, so here we go. And I know it's going to go through the, the paint. Hey, it didn't even really do too much, but I kind of like it. And so now we're going to go across there. And that's now it's going to dry. See, if you've watched some of my other ones as well, I also say I like to watch paint dry. Which that truly makes me happy to watch paint dry because I like to see what it does. I really like to see what paint, like how it, how it changes and how it just kind of adds to the story and what we do and design and feel and um that's like see I was kind of scared to do the cross on top of this this is what I in general this is what I kind of imagined but I was holding back because um you know when you once you do something and even if it's like blobby and I messed parts of it up it's still a story, and it's still part of your day and part of your journey. And, you know, Owen helps me paint these backgrounds with a hand over hand. So every time, um, working on his fine motor skills. So every time I do one of these, it's it's our story. And in a second, you'll see, which I haven't done yet, is put our O for Owen, <coughs> and then L, and... B. And this is our journey. This is our story. And so that to me is, is a part of what we're doing and, and our everyday life. And so I love making these paintings because he's part of it. He's part of what I do. So I need want some more pink across it. Um, I think that will, I 
should have been um, <laughs> a graffiti artist in my, you know, past moments or something, because I like making the mess and I wear it all over. Although, I'm that person that I always say I can't draw a straight line, which is so true because I shake, and so I really, really can't draw much of a straight line. Um, a little bit more green, and then we will call it a day. So, oh, see, I've I, <laughs> I've got it all over me now. So that's that's the story of painting. So. I thank you for watching and being a part of our journey, and I appreciate it. Toodles!